Keith is here with sports and a big game in the Big Apple. I've got the Orlando Magic playing the New York Knicks and, you know, Shaquille O'Neal just going around saying hello to the fellas. Uh, let's have a good game tonight. Let's keep it clean. We've got highlights coming up next. The Iowa Cubs won a championship last year for many reasons, but avoiding losing streaks was a big one. Trying to prevent a three-game home slide tonight in the Cubs battle more than Indianapolis. Tommy Shields looks like he's shagging fly balls in a wind tunnel, but he makes the catch. Down one zip, the Cubs tie it up in the six. Bags juiced, and Mike McSudian single scores one. Iowa strands three, though. The Indians reclaim the lead when former Cub Doug Jennings goes up the gut, go ahead, run to home. Indianapolis keeps Iowa reeling two to one. The parent Cubs in New York Shea Stadium, where the 69 Miracle Mets tossed out the first pitch. Lucky for the Cubs, the 94 Mets played the game. Steve Bouchelle singles, and Rick Wilkins decides to try for home. He's running with leg weights on. Play at the plate. Ball's loose, he is safe. Bouchel strikes again by going deep. That's a three run ding ding. Cubs turn back the Mets nine to five. Six hours after undergoing radiation treatment for testicular cancer, John Cruck starts against Colorado. The story gets better too because Cruck doubles in a run for the Phillies. How about that? And he even did it in that ugly new powder blue hat that Philadelphia is wearing. Darren Dalton. Adds a wallop, but the Rockies come from behind to spoil the Phil's home opener 8-7. On the national board, Dodgers and Cards washed away. The Reds in 11 against the Expos. In the American League, Orioles top the Tigers. Brewers edge the Rangers. Blue Jays score two TDs against Oakland. Indians keep winning. Red Sox and Royals tied in the 10th. Twins and Mariners with a late start. Hey, all you youngsters watching at home, here's a clinic on how not to run the bases. Michael Jordan trying to score on a wild pitch. Oh, man, where is the Little League mandatory slide rule when you need it? That is tonight's 31-year-old rookie update. Yeah. The Orlando Magic fancy themselves title contenders, but can they win in New York? Well, the Shaq starts marking his turf early. You know, he's not trying to make the house of style. Tight in the fourth quarter when Dennis Scott drops a huge buzzer beating three. Then it's O'Neal with the nail in the coffin baseline jumper. Orlando makes a point, 108 to 100. Other scores, Hornets by a deuce. The Pacers pound the Celtics, Spurs club the T-Wolves, the Mavericks and Warriors, and the Clippers and Kings just underway. More national pub for MFL's Rafe LaFrance, the seven-footer, is on USA Today's first team All-America squad. LaFrance scored, rebounded, and blocked shots nearly at will this season. He's headed out of state, though, to play at Kansas. And now, for the low, low introductory rate of absolutely free, it's Murphy's Law. Find your chi, because there's a lot of hostility in the sports world. In Tulsa, high sticking takes on new meaning. In San Diego, Braves rookie Ryan Klesko uses his head. In the ring, more proof that boxing is probably not the healthiest way to get in shape. Soccer is not the safest place either, especially if you're the ref. These fans aren't satisfied with booing. They want, well, you, you see what they want. Motocross isn't the answer. And even an interview with nice guy Jim Everett's just not safe anymore. Enough bad, here's the good. Here's the shot, Charlotte Smith. Yes. And Orsalak fumbles it and somehow holds on. Here's Walker. Is that how you say it, Jordan S? Trying to get close for a no. possible far putt. But instead, he jams it in. Dottemeyer, who gave him the three. Oh, well, down to Mullen, back to oh, Mullen. Well. Come on! Get up there! Finally, it was a long weekend. But thanks to all of you for helping raise more than $3 million for the children of Iowa. That's Murphy's Law. I was, I was on for like 12 hours, any shot.
we could pick from. I've, I've got to see that one again. I think everyone would agree. It was a tough shift, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., you and Rick Mitchell. It was a fun shift. I'm glad to work that. I want to do that again. I heard somebody did the theme to Gilligan's Island for that, some money. Was that true? That was Rick. I, I <laughs> took the high road the whole morning. Hey, it raised money for Iowa's kids. When we come back, we're going to take a, another look at the excitement. President Bush uh, did not like broccoli. Didn't care for it. Yeah. Hey, in sports tonight, I know it's early in the Major League season, but there was a big game tonight. In the 100-plus year history of Major League Baseball, this was the biggest regular... Uh, no, that's exaggerating. Big game, though. Coming up next. It's a good night to spend inside, so let's visit the ice arena for a playoff showdown between the Bucks and Omaha. Series tied at one, but Crazy Larry wears his lucky tee. Nice look. Bucks up 2-1 to one in the second when Omaha's Ken Hemingway blasts into the net on the power play, tied at two. Bucks answer before the period ends. Dan Davies drops it in the slot for Nick Kruger, and he one-times it. The Bucks hang on to win a big one, 5-4. to four. The I Cubs lost an afternoon game to the rain and a relief pitcher to Chicago today. The Cubs traded Sean Bosky to Philly for a minor leaguer and called up Iowa's Chuck Krim. The Atlanta Braves have been hotter than Georgia asphalt so far this season. Can they make it 8-0? Well, the Giants plan to burst the Braves' bubble. Sorry. Charlie O'Brien has other ideas. The backup catcher catches one and drives in a pair, breaking a 3-3 tie. It doesn't stay 5-3 long. Ninth inning, one on, and Barry Bonds jacks one deep. That's why he'll become the first player to win four MVP. So we're tied at five until John Patterson doubles off the wall. Winning run in. The streak is over. Giants win, not 9-5, 7-5. To five. Other scores, Astros 7, Marlins 2, the Reds dump the Expos. Jane Fonda, 9-5, to five. are you guys with me? Oh, okay, man. yeah, there we go. Okay, Pirates double up the Padres. <laughs> Dodgers spoil the Cardinals opener. I guess you weren't. Let's go to Comiskey Park. Yankees in town. Robin Ventura's not impressed. He rips a shot up the middle. Lance Johnson scores, and the White Sox never trail and win it 10-5. to five. On the board, Michael Jordan apparently pitching for the Royals tonight. It's the Red Sox 22, the Royals 8 in the ninth. And how bad are the Twins? Pretty bad so far. No pitching. It's the Mariners 8, Twins nothing in the fourth. Two other late games underway. Time for another edition of Musical Coaches. Dana Altman leaves K-State for Creighton, so the Wildcats go after Tulsa's Tubby Smith. Only Smith decides to sign a new five-year contract with Tulsa, but interviews at Oklahoma yesterday anyway because Billy Tubbs left for TCU where Drake's Rudy Washington had expressed interest, only Washington now says he'll stay in Des Moines. So who's coaching Kansas State? Who? This guy, Pepperdine's Tom Asbury. The 48-year-old led the Waves to their third NCAA appearance in six years. Musical coaches could rev up again if Johnny Orr decides to retire, but will he? Gonna meet with my wife tonight and go over all the things here that we can think of and the reasons for going and the reasons for staying. So you have not made a definite decision even no. as of today? No, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to meet with Gene Smith uh, at 11 o'clock in the morning. Because if you want to go ahead and say it right now, we'll, I, we'll put it on the air for well, you. I wish I could. I wish I could make my mind up. We won't know for sure until Thursday. You can attend Johnny Orr's press conference at Hilton Coliseum or watch it live right here on Channel 5. The Cleveland Cavaliers need one thing to make the playoffs, a win. Lucky for them, they got to play the Bucks tonight. Mark Price driving through traffic. He dishes to Gerald Wilkins for a hammer hook. And it's Gary Alexander with the follow bang. Cavs clinch 119 to 91. Elsewhere, the Pistons stink. The 76ers win big in Detroit. Bulls cut down the nets. Rockets over the T-Wolves. The Suns lead the Nuggets in the fourth. The Jazz are overthrowing the Kings. There are three West Coast games with meaningless scores at this point. Nothing much more meaningless in sports than a first quarter NBA score. And what's the deal with the Twins? What's going on there? The Twins have no pitching. That's the deal. You may be pitching for the Twins by the yeah. end of the week. If they need me, I'll be going up to the <laughs> Twin Cities, right? When we come back, the championship... Well, you probably know today's April Fool's Day, but I'm not going to try and convince you Michael Jordan's the next Cyclone basketball coach or that Rod Fowler anchors in his shorts. Oh, <laughs> nice legs, Rod. But I will provide play-by-play -play of the April Fool's race. 
Sierra Sierra Venus, the Sierra Sierra Venus, the Austin Kiss Kiss, the Elop Dogs, the Great Lord of the Mellow Astro, the Fish, the Ultra Bucket, the Forest. You know, I think that's some of the best play-by-play -play I've yeah, ever wasn't done. Bad. But, but also some of the most challenging. And uh, can we get a cam? Uh, I guess there's not really camera in in position. You'll just you'll just have to take my word for it. You think I've got shorts on, huh? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Tuesday night, the calls. Last night, the drawing. Tonight, the delivery. <sighs> well, this is it, Eldora, Iowa, new home of the hat. I'm so nervous. Hi, is there a, a Jackie Wilson here? Yeah, she sure is. She's right back here. Jackie? Yeah, hi. How about them cowboys? You bet. Go cowboys! There it is. All right. The hat. You bet. Throw that thing on. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> hey, the time of my life. Somebody turn that chicken for me, please. I'm going as fast as I can. That is great, isn't it? And just in case you've been following this soap opera, that was the final episode of The Hat. Mm -hmm. Boy, Jackie looked like she was very <laughs> proud to get that. Uh, she was proud and very...